Hello everybody, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome back to another episode of KMA's Jams. Something on my ceiling caught my attention, but is not a big spider, so I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> so, um, I've been very busy with the Super Secret Project, and I don't really have much time to record this along with my health and doctor's visits and all that, so I'm going to make a nice, easy episode of time lapses and what I try and do on a daily basis. So we're going to call this Harvest Time. And that's right, we are going to harvest everything here. So let's get the ball rolling and let us start with hmm, turning my view. Oh, turn my view around. We will start with what I normally start with because I do use a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, I do use a lot of mossy. Oh, actually, let's kill some animals first. Yeah. Bye. Oh. Uh. Oh, you got stuck up there. Sorry about that. So we get her feathers and stuff like that. We can go like this. Just push that button. And we'll let all the eggs run through. All these guys have grown up. So let's just uh, pull them through with that little piston thingy. And kill them again. Sorry, Bunny. Oh, it's so sad hearing that noise, but... You know for the extra goodness that we can have why not it sounds like chicken torture over here but hey <laughs> so we lift up the bunnies and we go hey I can't fall into that hole because of this piece of glass and we just feed them all up yes 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 yum 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 no 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 do I get you all no 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 so, um, like I said uh, in previous episodes, we're trying to get double chests of all products, and that includes things as stupid as rabbit's foots, and that's going to take forever and a day. Unfortunately, let's stop that, and it sounds like my um, sound is starting to go... <laughs> all messy because I have too many entities that are making sounds around me, but hey, so is life. So, now with the, that part done with, I am going to make a couple of shears and start harvesting. I'm going to put my ladders in here because I got a whole bunch of other ladders in there and a whole bunch of other crypto. You got to have your diamond hoe too. So, here we go. Typical mossy, viney farm, and let the time lapse <laughs> begin. Alright, so I just finished uh, the vines, so let's put away the vines that we have collected. And it looks like I have a fairly good amount of vines there. So, what is next to harvest? I think it's gonna be, well, I already know, because I do this all the time. <clears throat> and I like to do this thing the same way each time. So, we are gonna do... Cocoa Beans. Time lapse, begin now.
All right, cocoa bean got. Let's see where I put them. Oh, here we go. Co no, that's <laughs> that's melon seeds. Cocoa beans. Where did you put the cocoa beans? Cocoa beans. Oh crap! I got a bunch of cocoa beans. Um. <clears throat> excuse me. I do with the cocoa beans. Gonna fill up this chest with the glass and the stained glass. I mean this. Yeah, whatever. And the, <laughs> and the hardened clay. So it's okay that I have an overflow of cocoa beans because I have to get some sand to make the panes and the, whatever. The glass and also some for the hardened clay. So what is next on the agenda? I am going to go and take out some core seeds and let these things grow again because in order for me to establish that farm I need to harvest this twice at each harvest so let's begin time-lapse In order for the chorus fruit farm to work properly, I'm supposed to get 32, um, get 32 extra after replanting, and I only have 22, so that wasn't a good harvest. But usually I can get pretty close, um, so, and we're gonna harvest that again before I'm done harvesting because I have to harvest that, harvest that twice. So next on the list is reeds. So, time lapse commence now. Right, so we have the reeds and that is full that is almost full so let's make some sugar no sugar tonight oh, well, good. okay well you get the idea sugar it is there we go so we have the sugar in there and after when I'm done with the sugar I'll make some paper then some books and some item frames so what do we harvest next Let's go to regular crops now. Gonna throw a couple of those in there. We are gonna harvest the wheat. The wheat. Time lapse again. <laughs> Alright, so now that <clears throat> the wheat is harvested, oops, some more sugar over here, um, I like to feed up the animals that eat the wheat, and so that means I like to feed up the, uh, the sheep, the pigs, and uh, not the pigs, the cows, it's the sheep and the two types of cows. Oops, did not make that jump too well, so let's feed these guys up and if they eat a whole stack of wheat I kill them off and I leave the babies but I don't have enough sheep 
to do that yet. Yeah, I don't think. No, I'm about a half. Yeah, I'm about a third a stack away from killing these guys. So one or two more breedings. Um, and these guys, well, probably one more breeding, and then I can kill these guys off and get some loot and some fur. Uh, I was actually pretty close. So, um, now I'm going to do the same for two types of cows I have here. So I get a new stack out, and I jump into the cow pen. And just feed the mushrooms, and if they take a whole stack, I kill everything except for the babies. Which sounds cool, and it is, but whatever, right? So now for the last stack of food. Yeah, I'll hold on to this. <clears throat> Last stack of food. I feed the cows. Alright, so the cows didn't eat a whole stack either, so I'm going to put the extra wheat in here. And as you see, the uh, wheat chest is not as full as the others just because I've been feeding the animals with it. And the seeds are all full up, so I have an extra seed chest up here specifically for the seeds. And I am going to make this into sugar. This is the extra um, reeds I had found while I was feeding the cows. So the next harvest is gonna be, I just gave you a hint. No, actually I didn't. <laughs> I was gonna say it's carrots, but it's not carrots. It's potatoes. <clears throat> so you know the drill. Time lapse begin now. So now that we have the potatoes, they go over here. And those potatoes are full, and now we're gonna make the cooked potatoes. So I got some chests in here, and it looks like we've got some potatoes already in here. Or well, maybe not. Just maybe that first one. And these aren't chests, by the way. These are furnaces. <clears throat> I do know the difference. A lot of times I just say the wrong thing just because, just because. So I have plenty of potatoes, but I'm going to be getting plenty more because I need a double chest of those. Yeah. So now on to the carrots. And time lapse begins now. So other than bunnies, who else eats carrots? Yep. 
That's right, these little oinkers, so if they eat more than a stack, I kill them off. Oops, let me eat. <clears throat> so where do I put the carrots? Let's see, here we go. Carrot put right here. And as you saw, the pigs did not um, eat all a uh, full stack. So next time I harvest, I'm going to be killing all the pigs, all the sheep, all the cows, and all the mushrooms because it seems like they'll all eat an extra stack. So now it's time to harvest one of the newest members of the farming family here and one that still needs to figure out what we're gonna do with it in Minecraft and that's beets so you know the drill again So we got the beats. We got the beats. Hey everybody. Sorry, bad 80s music. And we have almost a completely f we do. So what are we make? We're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna throw that up there for now. Why is mushroom stew up there? That's not supposed to be there. Where's the mushrooms? Where did I put the mushrooms? Mushroom stew goes up here. Oh, that's extra mushroom stew. Okay, we'll throw that up there. We could have actually eaten it. Wow, amazing mushroom stew. So all the farms, except for one very colorful one back here, which I thought I wasn't gonna be harvesting much longer until they came up with the new blocks, which use this particular thing that you can grow. And did I, no, those must have already grown really fast. And we still have the skelly horse in here. I forgot to get rid of him. But. And let's hope I don't die. Last time I was harvesting this, a creeper came up and actually blew up through the fence from back there. You're not gonna. Okay, so you're still good. Okay, so you know the deal. Seeing you can't feed nether wart to anybody yet, um, but you can make blocks with it. And where do I keep it? Where did I put this? Where's my nether wart? Oh, there it is. It's not on the bottom one. That's why. So I got the full stack there, and then I have this. I'm starting to make these nether wart blocks. So my thing is there, and usually I can make a stack for each harvest, <clears throat> or just over a stack for each harvest. And there's a stack. And 10 more? Nine more. Okay. 
So, <clears throat> so the whole farm is done except for that, the chorus fruit. So what I like to do is get my trusty axe out and kill these guys off again. Still, people got stuck up there. So we'll throw those over. We'll bring you guys over. Do this again. All those are dead. Put the water on. Grab some more um, carrots. Jump up here. Feed them. Uh, feed me first. Now feed these guys. Boy, aren't they hungry. And here comes a pig. He knows I got food. Okay. Those seem to be done. Snap. So, put those back in there. And we're going to finish with getting the rest of these courses again. And <clears throat> then do that for him. So, you know the drill. All right, so after replanting the chorus fruit, I have 24 extra, which is not enough. But this is the funnest part of this whole farm right here. Turn that on and watch this fall. Yes. But I got to still put walls on this, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know. This farm, I think, is going to be temporary. But, I don't know. If I do decide to keep it, it's not the prettiest thing. I hate the look of chorus fruit when it's growing. Um, and so I don't think I'm going to keep it. But I don't know. If I put a nice wall on it, it might look good. So I turn off the water streams. And you see how those things are in sustained animation? They now come over here to that. So I grab all this stuff. Actually, I'm just going to grab it out of the hopper. And I come over and put this stuff in a chest. I'm pretty sure I don't have to cook it yet because I still have room in this chest. Yeah. There we go. Oops, excuse me. Hiccup. And I'm going to steal a couple more of these. And we can plant this. And that will be my farm. Nice flying. Sometimes you just ricochet off the ground just right to get some good air. Oops. I know this, um, this subject farming in general is not the most exciting thing in the world. But I was kind of just showing you my whole process, which takes about an hour. This Everything that you've seen so far in real life has taken about an hour. Um, and if I get really adventurous, I continue farming at my other farms. And you're like, what other farms? Um, and it's not the type of farming I really enjoy doing. That's all of them. Excellent. So let me oops, get out of the there and show you what I'm talking about. So if I'm feeling kind of bored or it's a weekend and I'm not working or I'm sick and home from the hospital or something, um, I have all the sheep farm. And if I feel adventurous, I'll farm off all the wool and throw them in here. And as you see, I got a long ways to go to get double chests of all this stuff. 
But I'm not gonna do that in this video. That's really monotonous. As is, as is, what I've already done is quite monotonous. So, um, let me just go like this. I am gonna make all those, whoops, whacking my mic. I'm gonna make all those time lapses, see how long it, it actually is on video ways, and I'll be back with either some more stuff or the ending of the video. Let me go check to see how long this is. But anyways, that is something I should be doing daily in the Minecraft uh, world, which is all that farming so I can get everything I need as soon as possible. And it's just a goal of mine to get double chests of everything. And um, so I'll be right back. Holy crapola! That, <laughs> that was a lot longer than I thought it was. It was 26 minutes when I edited it down. So guess what? There's no more to this video. But I would like to say a couple of things about this video. That music that you heard behind the whole situation, and it's actually music I use for my intro and outro, and also usually behind segments like this. Hey, Piggy Peggy, you want to be in this video too? Hi. Hi, what's going on, guy? Yeah. Hey, get... Oh, not more Piggy love in this channel. But anyways, um... That music is music I wrote probably uh, 12 years ago. I uh, got a program and I started making, I was really into the Chemical Brothers. I don't know if you heard the Chemical Brothers. It came out in the 90s and they're kind of an electronic band. Um, and I wanted to make music like that. So I made three, three full length albums and about seven singles in about a three year period. And what you heard in the background there was the first side of the first album that I made. Um, and I actually called, named the, um, thing KMA Beats. My initials, Beats, kind of like the series, KMA's Corner. It's my initials and, I guess, a corner. I don't know where the corner comes from. But anyways, so that's the music that you heard in the background. Hopefully none of it gets flags because I have put it up on YouTube in the past and maybe monetized it. I'm not too sure. So I might not be able to monetize this video because of it, but that's okay. It's not like I'm going to be making pennies on this video or anything like that. But I do hope you enjoy the, um, the farming that I did today. It's just something, I don't know. I do it three, four times a week. I try and do it every single day, but as you see, it takes over an hour to do. But I want to get my um, storage supplies all filled up and all done. But anyways, have a great day. This is Keith from Gaming's Corner. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. And thank you for sticking around and watching this late part of this video. Um, not too many people make it to this. So if you are watching me right now, pat yourself on the back. And... Give yourself a big hug because I would give you a hug for sticking around this long. Goodbye.